Hey y'all, welcome back to Tobacco Leaf Legacies. I'm Cheryl. I've got a very unique video for you this time. You see this behind me? This is a repurposed cigarette machine to vend art. Isn't that cool? A gentleman in Winston-Salem came up with this idea and over the years it has spread. I am a firm believer in supporting art and I have been going to a lot of different locations to get art from a few machines. You can go on their website, I'll either link it here in the video or I'll link it in the description so you can check it out. I encourage you, look at the map, see if there is one or a few near you and go check them out and support local artists. It is really just a fun, unique thing. The fact that he has taken old cigarette machines and is repurposing them. Y'all know that I like repurposing to start with and they are all unique. They're all really cute. They do not all look the same. You'll see in the different little segments of my videos that they're all different. Now, some require tokens. So wherever you are, just make sure you find the person. It is $5. So some machines, you can put the $5 in and get out your art. Other machines still work on tokens. And so you'll need to get the tokens from wherever you're at, put them in the machine and get your art. Isn't that cool? Go check it out, guys. Okay, so I'm not sure where I'm going to put this in the video, and hopefully you can hear me okay because I'm talking kind of quiet in here. I'm in an art center, and we're getting ready to, my niece and I are getting ready to see a play, and I found this really cool, looks like repurposed cigarette machine that has got art in it from some local artists. And so I wanted to show you that, and I'm going to grab one here real quick to open on video. Yeah, so I just thought that that was a lot of fun. I'd never seen anything like that before. And so I got, let's see if it'll show. I got that one. It says handmade leather earrings. So let's see if that's what it was because it was in the mystery one. Hang on. Oh my goodness, look how cute. Look how cute these are. Hopefully that'll show up on video okay. Those are so cute. And here, let's see. Let's go ahead and show this show. Yeah, so I just thought that was something cool to do. These are very cute. I will totally wear them. And what's really fun is that I don't think I've told you guys, but I'm very crafty myself and I've had web websites and um, a shop on Etsy and the whole bit. So, okay, I'm going to rape and go back inside because the show is starting soon and my niece is waiting for me, but I just thought this was so fun and a totally repurposed machine like that. That's fantastic and supporting a little local artist. Amazing. Okay, I'm off to the show. See you later.
Okay, we are doing this in the car. I didn't want to stop and do this in the store. There's music going on, first of all, so when I go to post the video, it might flag it for a copyright. Uh, so we're in here, and um, also, I, you know, other people are shopping and stuff, and so I didn't want to disturb them. Um, now, the first one that I went to, uh, it, the machine took cash, and what was cool about this one is this one took tokens. So you just, you know, go to the register and pay your $5, and then you get a little token to put in there, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, I feel like that's even probably more original. And with this one, they actually need to stock this one uh, a little bit. There's um, not as much in there, but I did get two. Let's see if it'll focus on that, hopefully. I'll do better in here. I know it's kind of, let's see, where's my light? Ooh, maybe that's a little bit better. Let's see if it will focus on that. Um, let's see. This is Hilary Lay. Loves to create vibrant, playful art. In addition to abstract paintings, she paints whimsical animals and cityscapes, often over layers of pages from old dictionaries. Oh, that's kind of cool. And so there's other information here. Let's see, this painting is watercolor and pen on watercolor paper. Uh, some paintings may incorporate translucent, translucent, if I can say that word, shimmery paint. Um, and then it's got contact information and email on here. Like I said, if that's not coming in, I'll, I'll do a, a better video of it. And it's kind of neat. There's the little plastic over it. And then what's really kind of neat about this is that it's on wood. Um, it's kind of all ready to display. The edges of it have been painted here. There's a little bit of translucent on here. That's very pretty. All right, now let's look at the other one. And get its little plastic off. Now this is her work as well. Isn't that cute? And again, the little edges are painted, so you've already got a piece that's ready to sit on your shelf and display. That is just, that is so neat. Um, if you see any of these automatic places, machines, I guess I should call them, uh, where you are, you know, I keep encouraging you um, to support them, support small business, support artists, because that, it's really important. And this is a really fun idea. In fact, the guy in here was telling me that it's his friend uh, that is from Winston-Salem that started this. Um, and I'll go to the website um, and probably look up a little bit of the history too. But he was saying that, you know, his friend wanted to get, you know, his art out and came up with this. And now, of course, it's expanded and he accepts, you know, other people's art long as you can fit it in the size to, you know, get it in there. I just think that's great. This was fun. Very cool. And I will definitely set these out and probably check out her website as well. <laughs> Hey y'all. All right, so we're at our next stop and it is the Polk Museum of Art at Florida Southern. So let's go inside and see what they've got.
<laughs> okay, so I had to get inside of the van because we've had some rain. Uh, we had a storm come through last night, and so it's still kind of cloudy and rainy and all that. So I'm in the van to film this part. But isn't that, that, that is probably the cutest machine um, that I have found so far. The first one was really pretty, the purple one. I, I love that one. But this one just has like a classic kind of retro style to it whoever is doing these and i mean there's there's a website with history and i'll probably do a, a video to go over some of that but whoever is doing these individual machines whoever is coming up with the designs maybe it's the same guy who you know has started uh, all of this i'll have to check but they're just they're so cool i mean they really are just so cool okay so this one is the grandma one uh, that I got. It says, and I'm assuming this is the person who created it, Elisa, Elisa, Eliza, Peterson, Nanazines. I am a small piece of art created by a woman artist named Elisa from Tacoma, Washington. Oh, wow. Uh, her Ask Your Grandma Zines are true stories of growing up in the 60s. What question have you always wanted to ask your grandma? Find her here. And uh, there's an Etsy shop. Etsy is awesome. If y'all have not seen Etsy, um, you know, go to the website and just, I don't know, search for anything. I mean, search for your favorite kind of craft or your favorite, I don't know, gosh, TV show. There's just so much handmade goodness on Etsy. That's where uh, I have a shop. Um, anyway, so that's cool. I'll, I'll, the, the links and things that I get on all of these, I'll end up um, probably putting them like putting them in the description uh, so that all of these will, will be there. Okay. If you tell her where I've landed, it will make her day. So this is interesting. So let's open this up here and see what's in here. Oh, look how cute this is. Seriously, y'all. Look how cute. Ask your grandma. Her stories may surprise you. Got the little Etsy shop on there again. Okay, that's adorable. And, oh, and on the edge of the box, oops, on the edge of the box, it says Forbidden Thrill. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> so let's see. Then we have this. This little Nanazine, I guess. Ask your grandma. Um, what was the... What was the most thrilling forbidden thing you did as a preteen? Oh, this is so cute. And then it like opens up. Hmm, I guess that would be skinny dipping. My best friend and I were staying at her grandparents' lake place. We had our own little cabin on the water and a rowboat tied up outside. This is just so cute, y'all. And we turn the page again. A loaf of bread and a jar of peanut butter was in the cupboard. At midnight, we crept down to the boat and shoved off. We stealthily rowed out. <laughs> this is so cute. Look, turn the page again. We shed our clothes and slipped into the water. The thrill, I shiver just thinking about it. We swam like fishes. It was amazing. Oh my gosh. Nana Zine, a collection, ask your grandma. I know my adventure may sound tempting, but wait until you are an adult, then go for it. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's cute. Okay, and then we've got her card. So like I said, I'll link everything. And then there's, let's see, there's something else in here. Oh, and there's two like little, oh, look how cute. Okay, let me flip this around. So I can show you. Look. Get the little happy face. Now this one doesn't have a happy face. But you know it's funny. I've said in another video how I pick up rocks. And stuff. So I think that's neat. I love that little smiley face. Oh I'm going to keep that one in the van. That's really cool. That's such a cute one. Okay. So let's look at the next one here. That is really cute. I am definitely going to check out these little nanazine ask your grandma things and especially the 60s. Oh, this just like this has me written all over it. Okay, so this one uh, says stoneware earrings by Carmen Bond. And there's a website on here. 
you can see it all link it to okay so let's open these and oh there's okay let's see hold on let me flip this around okay now we're getting it oh these are nice look it's kind of hard to see there we go look at them little danglies they are little stoneware oh that's so cute let me get them out of the back there we go keep it down here i think the light's better yeah okay these are really cute and they're really light too very nice that is awesome and i know i've mentioned a lot about you know supporting small artists and things like that but whether it's something like these fun uh, automatic machines whether it's your local fair uh, market you know at christmas when people set up their tents and come out with their handmade goods always go support them always go check it out there's so much time and love and everything that goes into items that are handmade i know because i've made handmade items and we don't people people who hand make stuff we don't mass produce you know that's that's not our mindset and so the things that we make don't turn out uh, like things that are mass produced and there is a time for mass produced I mean I shop at Target I go to these places too but when you can support artists please do and you know for holidays and birthdays and stuff it makes for really cool gifts so I just I love my stuff this was fun all right let's see what the next place will bring us hey y'all all right we are at another location i am at the north carolina museum of art in raleigh and we're going to go inside their museum store which is where the artomat is located here and see what kind of cool stuff we can get I am ready with my tokens. <laughs> Okay, let me flip this around and let's see what we've got. So this is the first one. Now it's kind of kind of hard to read that. But what's I like these with these little pieces of wood. And as you saw in the video, that's actually part of a kit that you can get if you're interested in submitting art. But look at this cutie right here. And I love it because it's just ready to display. I mean, you can just set it right up on wherever, you know, you want to put it. That's adorable. Okay, so got that one very cute. All right, let's look at this one. Macrame. I'm assuming, am I going to be putting something together here? Oh, let's see, let's see. Oh, look how cute. 
Look how cute that is. Have y'all ever done macrame? I've actually never done it. I've wanted to though, because I mean, I think it's really cool. That is so cute. See what this says. And of course, you know, as I've said in other videos, I'll link it all down here. So in case you're interested in checking some of these folks out, but oh my goodness, that is so cute and so pretty. Very nice. I've gotten a lot of really cool, unique stuff doing this. Okay, and then let's see this one. I don't know if y'all will be able to read that. All right, so let's check that out. Oh gosh, look how pretty. Oh, that's very pretty, look. Very nice. Oh, and I like that it's not already, t is it, wait, is it already tied? Oh, before I make a mess here. Oh, it is nice, okay, yeah, so it's just ready to wear. Ooh, y'all, I'm gonna put that on right now. Very cool. Well, this is a really um, cool spot, and I was talking to the guy and asking him about it, and um, they're actually hoping to get two machines because it's just that popular. And I just, I just think this is fantastic. So awesome. I got three more pieces, and they've got a little cafe in here, and so now I think it's time to have some lunch.